Hi, this is John Morgan with the latest video tip for 2020 design. Let's talk a little bit about countertops. I always use what's called Countertop Wizard. Now before I go to Countertop Wizard, let me show you something. You might go into your 2020 and see that the Countertop Wizard is grayed out. If it's grayed out and it's inactive, it's because you haven't activated it yet. All you need to do to activate the Countertop Wizard is go to 2020.net, log in, go down to the section where there are um, the generic 2020 catalogs, and you want to download two catalogs, Countertop Wizard Catalog in Imperial. We have them both in French and English depending on where you are in North America, and also Countertop Wizard in Metric. Download them both. And then you simply load them as you would any other manufacturer's catalog. Once you load these, when you go into your um, floor plan, you'll notice the countertop wizard is now active. And then you can go back to 2020.net and you can download Cambria and Decton and Sensa and Silestone and, and uh, countertop, actual real countertop catalogs. If I click Next when I choose a catalog, it will actually give me thumbnails of all of the different patterns. I could choose Berwin, let's say, and simply click Next. Right now it says, what thickness is the countertop? I'll say 3 cm. Next, do you want to auto design it? Yes. Next, there it is. Is that acceptable? Yes. Next, do you want a backsplash? No, because I'm going to put tile in. Next, what type of edge do you want? I'd like to use the Piedmont edge. Next, do you want to define your sink? Yes. I'll go in and say my sink is a drop in sink and it's going to be non-cast iron. I'll click OK. Now it's going to do a sink cutout. Next, it's going to ask you some questions for obstacles and additional cutouts and so forth. But if you're actually designing over top of a real kitchen, it automatically has those in there anyway. You don't have to answer that. But there is one question you do have to answer. And that question is placing edges. You simply click wherever you want that Piedmont edge to go. Watch this. I'm just going to go ahead and put the Piedmont edge on all of these surfaces. Once I've done that, if I click Next and then I Finish, if you give it a second, you now see as you move around, see these little green lines? That means that you now have countertop. If I go back and take a look at my countertop, look at the texture coming through. If I click on countertop, it gives me a countertop drawing. But you know what? That is not the countertop drawing that you or I want to use. If you right click on the floor plan, there's a feature here called display settings. When I go to display settings, I can go in right here where it says scheme, click on this arrow, and there's actually a setting called countertop report. Watch what happens. Let me move this over just a little bit. Watch what happens when I click apply. Now what's cool about this, you can go to File, you can go to Preferences, and you can save schemes to be whatever tab you want them to be. If you like Countertop Report, you can save it so every time you're in the All tab and you design a kitchen you put Countertop in, every time you click on Countertop, that's exactly what you see. It shows the Piedmont edge, it shows your appliance edges, it shows your sink center lines and overall dimensions. And there's one other thing you may not know. If you go to presentation, there's actually a feature over here called reports. There's a report here called countertop plan. If I click on countertop plan, it's actually going to go around the room. It's going to give me the option now of viewing the countertop plan. You're going to see the countertop plan is going to pop up on the screen. And then I'm going to be able to go to a page and it's going to give me detailed information on the countertop plan. If I click on the arrow to go to the second page, Here's your countertop plan. If I were to have modified, let's say we radius the corner on the countertop, you'd see a radius corner here. You actually see the types of modifications listed here for you to communicate with your fabricator. And maybe you're doing a quick estimate on price. Here's your information to base that price on. That is set up standard in 2020. You don't have to do anything other than go to Report and click on Countertop Plan. For other great ideas, please join the 2020 community at www.2020spaces.com 
forward slash community.